Good morning YouTube. This is Mike and Bass here. Got another battery unboxing video. Today we have the North Star Ace with Bluetooth AGM31. As you can see, the outside of the package is clearly marked. Fragile, this side up. Do not drop. Try not to give my shipping address there. Let's go ahead and open it up. haven't opened this one yet so I figured I'd do the unboxing video on this one the other ones are sitting right there I've already opened those here on the top we have some folded over cardboard bath filling supposed to be kind of squared like that might have got tossed around during shipping that's the last time that'll be tossed around inside the box with the nsb oh i apologize the ace agm 31 you get these solid brass if i don't drop them sae uh, terminals these screw down onto the threaded posts that come up off of the battery these posts appear to be removable as well. You just need a, looks like an Allen key. Not sure what size it is in order to remove it. But they got a good, nice bit of weight to them after talking to Tyler Jolly. I confirmed that yes, they are solid machine brass. Tyler Jolly, co-owner of GP Car Audio is who I ordered all this from. Set this aside. down here in the bottom because I need some machined terminals we have the GP car audio six position machined SAE terminals give me just a second and I'll open one of them up good thing it wasn't a phone call because I dropped it just use my cell phone here Galaxy S7 here we have approximately between half inch and uh, three quarter inch thick solid aluminum six position three eight size hardware not sure what size uh, socket you would need in order to loosen or tighten this solid aluminum six position SAE terminal very good quality but that's all GP car audio sells thanks again Tyler Get these out of the way. Then we have the Ace AGM 31 from Northstar. As you can see, it's packaged fairly well. On the top, I would maybe wish for a little bit more baffling than that folded over cardboard there, just in case it is dropped upside down. Don't want to damage the terminals on either side. It's the same on the bottom, uh, only without that baffling. Just wish there'd be a little bit more packaging there, but you have to keep shipping sizes and weight to a reasonable amount or else we wouldn't be able to afford our hobby, would we? Yeah, picked it up one arm. Still heavy as hell though. Like I said, NSB ace 31 it has the bluetooth on it 2150 pulse cranking amps 1150 cold cranking amps 220 minute reserve made of 99.99 percent .99 pure lead 900 or more cycles faster recharging rate because it's made out of 99.99 percent .99 pure lead and it is virgin lead it is not recycled like other brands such as shuriken excess power etc and the bluetooth is the fanciest part about these these codes on top here these little square barcodes whatever they are i'm not sure about them what they're called i never use them 
but with these I will these were three yep got three there of nine that were left until the middle to late next year of the ace blue 231s when you use the North Star ace app you can scan that code and it'll tell you the life cycle of the battery thus far how it's been maintained has it been maintained with good resting voltage good charging or has it lived a very terrible life like the probably boss audio owners if they could afford something like this anyways just joking don't need to call a lawyer little snowflakes or have they been kept on a charger to be maintained uh, when the vehicle is not being used this is going to be my daily driver these are going in but they're going to be kept on a maintainer during the week because i don't drive my car during the week i drive my big truck that uh, maintainer and charger is going to be a noco genius g26000 best one they sell to my knowledge also got that from gp car audio we'll be doing a video on that at a later time let's get around to the resting voltage on this And again, I apologize for the not so high quality video. Still new to this personally. I'm by myself. I don't have anyone helping me today. Also, remember on these North Stars, it's impossible to mix up unless you're a dummy. You can see here, both sides are clearly marked for the positive and or negative posts. For checking the voltage fresh out of the box has been sitting on my cold concrete floor with carpet over it uh, since it arrived we're going to see what the resting voltage is today and keep in mind i also keep my house a little bit colder it's about 45 degrees out right now it's about 62 63 degrees in my house as you can see we are at 12.70 resting voltage. Yep, this battery definitely needs to be put on a maintainer. This is why you don't put them on a concrete floor, no matter if you have a uh, carpet with padding underneath it or not. So this one's going to go on the maintainer for a few hours today. And I'm going to be cycling them through uh, all four of my batteries until my builder is ready to get everything installed in the vehicle. Just like the last video for the other battery, I dropped the darn phone again. Good thing it wasn't call. But, X-Tech for the win. Don't use those cheap Harbor Freight voltmeters. Harbor Freight has some good tools. Voltmeters are not among them. Let's go ahead and get this moved over here. I'm putting my batteries on top of these wooden planks. So that they're not sitting directly on the concrete which is just below my carpet that way they don't die prematurely or uh, uh, drain out prematurely here's my nsb agm 35 already did a video on that please go check it out remember like comment and subscribe this was mike and base have a good day